What's new? To date, the nature of the oil barrels sent by Mexico to Cuba this year has not been disclosed, whether as donations, sales with long-term financing, or as part of a bilateral agreement. According to estimates from the University of Texas Energy Institute, accessed by EFE, Mexico has provided Cuba with approximately $200 million worth of oil over the course of this year. In the current year, the state-owned company Petróleos Mexicanos, Pemex, has emerged as one of the main crude oil suppliers to the Cuban island, which heavily relies on imports, mainly from allied countries like Russia and Venezuela, to keep its energy system running. It has still not been clarified whether these oil shipments represent donations, sales with long-term financing, or are linked to some kind of bilateral agreement, similar to the hiring of Cuban doctors, as seen in the case of Venezuela. These shipments have generated some controversy in Mexico. According to the study, which combines tanker tracking data with daily market prices, Pemex has sent a total of 2.81 million barrels of crude oil and derivatives to Cuba since March. The most recent shipping record dates back to September 16, when the Cuban flag tanker Vilma docked at the port of Cienfuegos, located in central Cuba, carrying 350,000 barrels of crude oil valued at $29.4 million, originating from Parajitos in Veracruz, eastern Mexico that in August. Mexico sent 465,000 barrels valued at $36.2 million, while in July, the figure reached 730,000 barrels with a value of $49.4 million. Mexico is considering different alternatives to charge Cuba for the oil shipments. Mexican Foreign Minister Alicia Barcena recently informed Bloomberg that her country is evaluating options in this regard. The main reason behind this decision, according to Cuban academic Jorge Pinion, an expert on Cuba at the University of Texas Energy Institute, is the increase in the price of a barrel in international markets, which is currently around $100 per unit. These shipments of oil barrels from Mexico, Russia, and Venezuela to Cuba represent a missed opportunity to sell them in international markets and generate positive income, Jorge Pinion expressed in an interview with EFE, the current situation in Cuba is characterized by a severe fuel shortage, leading the government to warn of prolonged power outages throughout the country. This crisis is exacerbated by the dependence on various imported fossil fuels for the operation of the energy generation system on the island. The Minister of Energy and Mines, Vicente de la O. Levy, has pointed out that the countries supplying oil to Cuba have been unable to meet their agreements, forcing the Cuban government to resort to almost daily fuel purchases. Jorge Pinion emphasized the seriousness of the situation by stating that Cuba has not received Russian crude for several months. And the daily oil shipment from Venezuela has significantly reduced since 2016, dropping from 100,000 barrels to around 57,000 barrels. In response to the fuel shortage, the Minister of Economy, Alejandro Gil, announced on state television that a careful plan for more efficient fuel usage is being prepared for the next two weeks. This has led to a sudden increase in the long queues that were already common at gas stations in the country. Gill assured Cuba will implement savings measures to ensure the vitality of the population's essential activities and the economy. Comment on what you thought of the news, give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel. If you think it's necessary, you can also share this video through your social media.